Back now with Al Hicks from Wealth Enhancement Group. In your estimation, where is inflation coming from? Because we're all getting smacked with it. Well, inflation comes from a couple different things. One, it comes from the federal government printing too much money. That The money that we print is called M2. It's a governmental term. Um, but we've had a massive increase with our M2, our, the money or the cash that we've actually been put into our economy. You saw it all when COVID. We, we made, that's the first time in our nation's history, we, we made direct payments to individuals. Right. Right. And so when we did that, our money supply increased. When you increase the money supply and, the, and the, you increase the money supply and the goods and services stay the same, all of a sudden it, it takes more of those dollars to buy the good, same goods and services because it's chasing um, fewer, uh, the same amount of goods. The problem is we actually had less goods when we had the um, a supply chain disruption. So you had more money chasing fewer goods, and we really saw it locally here in our housing a couple of years ago, where um, housing was going crazy. Um, and what happened was people would put their house for sale, and there's so many buyers, people were going in, and you'd have 10 offers on a house in the very first weekend. And it was absolutely crazy. But the Fed has a tool at their disposal, and the tool that they use is interest rates rising or raising interest rates. And when they raise interest rates, what it does is trying to calm all the, the craziness that goes on. So think of what's happened just in our housing here in Green Bay. The interest rates have risen, so now it takes more uh, money to pay that mortgage, right, mm -hmm. if you want to go to borrow. So you have to borrow less to keep your expenses the same. Well, to buy that house then means your down payment has to increase. And that takes more time to get that up. And so it kind of puts a little bit of a halt on the marketplace. And when that happens, then things slow down and people start thinking rationally. And we don't get this out of control stuff. If we just let it go um, and, not, and the Fed doesn't intervene, what we end up having is what we call hyperinflation. And that occurred in the late 80s in Brazil. It happened in Argentina and everything else. But in Brazil, it we saw it, it was on the news back then mm -hmm. in the 80s, but uh, my love is economics. And when I'd see this, we saw groceries going up 20% a week. Right, I remember. You, you can't keep up with that. So we, we have to tamper it down. And it's all excitement, and it's all what it seems like really good stuff, but we just got to keep it tampered down a little bit. And then, so the Fed is basically tightening. They had a real loose monetary supply. They were giving the money away. Now they're, they're tightening, and that tightening causes things to slow down a little bit. But it, the biggest concern that people have with, um, with inflation is that it might cause a recession. And will it? I, you know, I don't know. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends how bad or how long we let inflation run. And we've been pretty good about uh, getting inflation under control this last year. There's been people that said maybe we were a month or two or a quarter uh, slow, but we kind of made up for it on the other end. And I don't think, we, we can remember where we live. We live in northeast Wisconsin, and northeast Wisconsin has always been a pretty recession-proof place. We make toilet paper, we make facial tissue, and we make napkins. And those are things that people buy and use all the time. And then we have machine companies that also then supply their machines to make this stuff. Oh, that, yeah. So we tend to be pretty recession proof. And when job loss occurs, well, the only place we're seeing it right now in our economy is in the high tech industry. And we don't have a lot of that here. Not that around here. And everybody is still waiting and looking for new employees everywhere we go. We are, we are back to wrap it up with Al Hicks right after this. Stay with us.